Diddy is terrified, you guys. Uh, other damaging videos will emerge after he was filmed beating up ex Cassie Ventura in hotel hallway and is holding a crisis talk with lawyer as his career implodes. Uh, uh, infinite love, life, and a good vibration. I'm your host, Velvet, coming through for you. Yeah, I see that right there. Let me, uh, I can take it down now because screen y'all been acting weird, it been lagging. Yeah, Diddy is definitely terrified, you guys. And let me tell y'all why. Y'all do know the video that came out, right? Yeah, I do know that Cassie had nothing to do with it. The feds had nothing to do with it. I want y'all to know that. Miss Ventura had nothing to do with it. And it was indeed the video that he been holding on to over the years. So that's why Diddy is worried. And that's why Diddy came outside. And that's why Diddy apologized. Even though he can't say her name. But I get it now. Because I was like, dang. He felt like he paranoid. I would love to have been in that house. Come back. Come back. But anyhow, I would love to have been in his house when he saw that on TV. They ain't tell nobody. They took it straight to CNN. Show damn hands off me. They took the video straight to CNN, you guys. I'm going to tell you. They telling Diddy. They giving Diddy a message. Okay, you want to keep video? We're going to keep video. And ain't no telling what other video they got. Okay, ain't no telling. You just never know how deep this could get. Because I think the feds been watching him a long time. Like way before he, ate, he even dealt with Miss Ventura. Yeah, they've been watching him, I'm telling you. And they only needed that little hole, like that little, like if you got a piece of black paper, right? And you were in the sun, and if you get a small pen and you poke a hole and you see that little bit of light, they only needed that little bit of light, and they they they, they knew they were going to come in. They knew they were going to break them down because they hurt a lot by daddy. They just couldn't catch them. Yep. And even though he won't, you know, get charged with the assault part of the video, but guess what? Kidnapping and uh, grape. Yeah, I know it ran with grape. Uh, guess what? There's no statute of limitation on that, and that happened in California. Yeah, he better be very afraid. You better be scared, P. Diddy. Hmm. Child, he wanted to be just like his daddy. That's what he wanted to be like. He thought he was his daddy. Shine said he vehemently denies being the shooter of that night. And guess what? I would not be surprised if a lawsuit came with us in prison. Yep. Yeah. He denounced a uh, daddy. He denounced Puffy today, yesterday, I mean, he denounced him, and I'm glad that you did. It was about time you let that go, and G. Depp, whatever his name is, he might as well let it go, too. Hey, lying. All of them got to let go of Diddy, because guess what? This is bigger than Diddy. Diddy made people. Yeah, I wonder what Shine so because he can. In my mind, I think he should sue. What y'all think? False imprisonment. Like he was he was locked up. He was locked up. I don't know what they call it when you locked up and it ain't your fault. It gotta be false. Like it ain't real. Like it's false. Like you deserve more than a million dollars. They got him too. But I think all of them finally woke up. But you know what? Shine played uh chess too. You know why I say that? Cause Shine knew he wanted to get in the political field. It was all set up there where he knew when he was in jail, in prison, he knew he couldn't make no changes how he would have did it. Yeah. And what's so messed up about it? After he did the crime, they extradited his ass right back to police. Said it ain't so. Yep. But ain't no telling now. You never know. 
if he'll come back over here and testify against Diddy. Yeah, had your son to put out that this rap, knowing that the feds was watching. How slow could you be? You up under criminal investigation. You don't have the feds to, 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 to do what they do. Come on, man. Ain't no music coming out. No bad boy studio. He wouldn't have used my studio. Make no music. He, listen, he lives with his daddy. I bet he ain't got his own home. So how he got his own money? He live with his daddy. Bad boy. Fly. Take that, take that. I live with my daddy, y'all. When allegedly my daddy off my mother. Like literally made it look like she, you know, died one way when she may have died another way. They hearts gonna be crushed. They gonna, I'm telling you, when these people get through with Diddy, the only person that might stand by him is it, it's his mom. They gonna try to get that lady a heart attack. Hey, man. Oh, excuse me. Every home, they coming for you, buddy. No Uncle Ben's looking ass. They is coming for you. Carisha, if I was you, I would just go ahead on this pill of beans for what it's worth. Because you on his check. They're going to find out about all that. I'm telling you, she about to tell it because y'all know that we know about this. The investigation now taking flight with officials turning their attention to the charter flights booked by music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Investigators want to know who was on them. The night team's Sheldon Fox is live. He's on Miami Beach with the latest Sheldon. On Miami Beach, Belkis now and away from Star Island. It's just across I-395 here. We've been kicked off of Star Island. The entire news media has. The neighbors there have had about enough of a huge media center, a remote media center, if you will, for the last three days and so we're here just across the way big problems for those at least from an annoyance standpoint on star island diddy's got much bigger problems on his plate and it has to do with the feds and his flights oh man you got some visitors dog if only it were this easy for sean p diddy combs let's get up on that an old music video has him just escaping from those coming to get him by taking flight in his private jet. It's not quite life imitating art, but Diddy's jet setting lifestyle is of keen interest to feds. Specifically, his flight manifests linked to jets like this one seen at Miami Opelaka Executive Airport this week, where the mogul was met by Homeland Security Investigations agents before a planned family trip for Combs that never happened. Mm, mm, mm. A planned trip, family trip for Combs that never happened. How the hell was that a family trip when this happened? Instead, the man accused of being Diddy's drug mule was arrested for drug possession. As this body cam video first obtained by 7 News shows. TMZ reports all of the jet charter companies Diddy used will receive subpoenas. They want to see who was on those planes and where they went. The flight manifests could be big for investigators, especially if anyone who filed recent civil suits against Diddy were on board. That would mean passengers could be contacted and interviewed. Anyone who flew with Combs, celebrity friends included, could be contacted by a... Carisha. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, you ain't got Diddy. You ain't got Diddy kind of money to be able to afford his lawyers, and you still following them. Like, yeah, I still probably sneaky linking it all up. But I tell you what, I think that if it's true that you were uh, trafficking young women for Diddy. It's going to ruin your career. You're not going to have a career, which I don't think she got one that. I don't think the city girls will ever be back together. I don't. 
too much don't went down. Like they don't got into it online. They they the company that they was with broke up. Like he sold it. Like I don't think she get how serious this case is. You better start telling them. Tell you we ain't gonna even talk about Keefe D man. All the stuff that Keefe D told the feds when they got him about Diddy. Bruh. All I got to say is, we over here at the Velvet Is Balance Energy Channel are doing a little bit better than him when it comes down to, uh, I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about the subscribers. I'm talking about me now. Uh, with what he going through. I ain't going through that. And I don't know what my subscribers going through, but I know that I'm going through. Damn, Diddy. You had the world in your hand. And now I'm starting to think it's all in his money. Like, is it really all Diddy money? Was Diddy holding somebody else's money and they let him have fun with it? Like, we'll let you do this. We'll let you do that. But now, you might not never, ever, ever step on our toes. Because the moment you step on our toes, we are coming back for everything. I wonder what Diddy off himself. Like, what do y'all think Diddy would kill himself? I'm trying to figure out something. Like, what did he do? Like, would he, like, I don't know, bro. And I know more lawsuits coming. I'm tired. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I don't drain myself with this Diddy situation. But Diddy is definitely afraid that more videos are going to be leaked and it's only because i'm telling y'all when diddy when diddy went on that 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 video and apologized he was apologizing to whoever else too because i'm like dang why you gotta apologize like that now i realize yeah because if she didn't release it and he the feds didn't release the who who else had a copy like who else this is like i don't know but it's like some kind of mafia stuff like now people seeing like damn I could turn in one video and I now I don't you know what y'all now that could still be no no I think I don't know because you know what I was thinking even though the Rob was going but I don't think the Rob would know which video to take from him no I think somebody at the hotel had a copy of that video and it was a big person. I'm telling you. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You got let me tell you something. Y'all really just think you went like that at that hotel. Let me get my camera off of him. It ain't go like that at that hotel. I'm gonna tell you what I believe happened. And then I'm getting ready to run out of him. I truly believe Diddy brought the tape. But is levels to a hotel that people don't know. Do y'all know, like, you got regular security, then you got big security, then you got bigger security, then you got security over them. It's like a system. Like, you got the lieutenant and all that stuff. So, they had to go through a lot of people's eyes. Yeah, a lot of people watched that. A lot of people watched that tape, bro. I'm telling you, whoever was watching that video, they had to have somebody over them because whoever worked in that room, in that back room, they got a boss that's over them. They listen, whoever was controlling that tape room, they don't, they don't, they can't make stuff go away. The only person that could really make stuff go away from from when I worked at a hotel in my mind is like the owners, bro. I ain't lying. The owners, the owners, security, yeah, they could, yeah, but security, they don't, they don't have keys to go in that security room in them records. That's why I'm thinking maybe the hotel probably leaked it. I don't know. But yeah, infinite love, life, and the good vibration, they coming for all them trick daddy, taking up for uh gatekeeping. They want you trick because you like gatekeeping. You get what I'm saying? They want you. 
Because the word on the curb, you've been to some of them freak off parties. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Ch- Ass feeling of getting ways and you you say all the type of shit you ain't supposed to say. See, there's a lot of shit about certain rap niggas I, I I could say, but I know it's some shit that I shouldn't say, so I don't say it. You said some slick shit about me in one of your stand up uh um, in one of your stand up you was, you was being sarcastic saying that if trick daddy can own a restaurant, you can do anything. Look, well, nigga, you bull dagging looking ass fuck nigga. Keep my name out your mouth. I'm not no comedian. I'm a street nigga first, okay? Keep my name out your mouth, bitch ass nigga. Keep Ricky Smiley name out your mouth. Keep all OG's name out your mouth. If you don't like a person, if you don't like a person, you don't say it. I've told people that I didn't think you was funny. I ain't never said I didn't like you. And I'm glad I didn't never say I didn't like you because me, by me not thinking you were funny, I actually saw you one day, and I was laughing my ass off. I was crying laughing one day. Remember that little boy put you in the headlock? I was crying fucking laughing that day, nigga. Listen, man, stop talking about other niggas to be relevant in the game today, and I'm going to be trending tomorrow on your bitch ass. And I'm with whatever you with, nigga. And every nigga, every comedian, everybody who you told a story got, got more money than me and you. You on my level, bitch ass nigga. Ha <laughs> ha. The joke on you, bitch ass nigga. You ain't- nope, the joke is on you. Yep, the feds will be knocking at your door because you said you know things about people, but you ain't telling it. And guess what? You have an affiliation with P. Diddy. Mm-hmm. You in Miami? Diddy in Miami? Yeah. Sorry about that, yeah. I think I'm lying. I just proved that he'll get keep. Then y'all just hit the man and say, I know some stuff, but I ain't going to tell it on people. You don't tell what you know. You keep secrets. They got more money than, than, than what I got. Y'all heard him say it. He said they got more money than me and you. He was talking about Cat Williams. Who that is next to Diddy? Who is that next to Diddy? Isn't that Trip Daddy? So y'all gonna stop playing with me over here on the Velvet is Balanced Energy Channel because I be connecting up today. I'm telling you, bro. Trick Daddy gonna be in some of them freak offs. Watch. I wouldn't put it past Trick Daddy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past Trick Daddy. Look at Luke Skywalker. They're in the club somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Say it ain't so, y'all. Did he? Did he say he gonna take. Listen, he ain't worried about DJ Academics doing a goddamn thing because he going to do it before DJ Academics. I wouldn't be surprised if Diddy get to tell it too. Like, tell on everybody. It's bigger than me. Tell on all of them. Take all of their ass down. Every hall, you're going down too, Uncle Ben's looking nigga. <laughs> you are going down too. I ain't lying. He's going down. I don't see what women sell on him and Trick Daddy Child. It, you know, uh, it, it just been over for Trick. It it, 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 never really was like working in Trick Daddy's favor. Real talk. Yeah, Diddy said he gonna take everybody down with him. I truly believe that. Where's Boosie when he was talking all that stuff about Diddy? Yeah, where you? Yeah, where you? Where you at, Boosie? I ain't making no videos. You just left New York City hooked up with P. Diddy. Blue past 50. You gonna have to wipe me down? Yeah. I'm gonna play this Aaron Hall. And I'm getting ready to get up on out of here. Yeah, all of them down with it. All of those are demons hanging yeah. together. So niggas can't together. say nothing about it. Them square ass niggas, them precious cake little dick niggas. Yeah. I like for them niggas to see how I fuck. Like if you speak yeah. to Joe to see or Puffy or any of them niggas, yeah. they've been at my house. They all see me fuck. They all know I'm a big nigga. Yeah. If a bitch touch my dick and she say my dick is small, then she's a lying bitch. Yeah. Tell her to name the tattoo that's on my ribs that says warning. <laughs> and you get these niggas <laughs> fucking you up. <laughs> The thing is, uh, a whole lot of niggas write about taking girls out to shop, taking girls to fly to Dubai and all that shit. Yeah. Bitch, close your eyes. We yeah. 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 I'm going to fuck a de- 
to death. Yeah. I like the fucking public. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So niggas can't say nothing about it. Them square ass niggas, them precious cake little dick niggas. Yeah. I like yeah. them niggas to see how I fuck. Like if you speak yeah. to Joe to see or Puffy or any of them niggas, yeah. they've been at my house. They all see me fuck. Mm, ask all of them. Mm, them demons. Ask all of them. They've been in my house. They don't see me ill. And somebody said something about Denzel Washington on Instagram. I'm talking about Denzel Washington. I'm talking about at a certain time, devils come in at a party. I said that ain't what Aaron Hall said because y'all do know. Oh, man, Denzel Washington about to be very afraid, bro. He about to be afraid, too, because y'all know Aaron Hall has a video on DJ Valet. All y'all got to do is put in Aaron Hall, put in Aaron Hall, oh, uh, Put in Aaron Hall. That's it. And listen to the. It's only it's only one Aaron Hall interview. Well, it's two or three pieces. Every piece you see with DJ Vlad, just watch it, and you'll hear him say that uh, Denzel Washington watched him have sex too. So he enjoyed other men watching his dick. You just need to come on, on out of that closet, buddy. You get a thrill out of other men watching you. What kind of crazy stuff is this? Man, this is crazy. They live in their own world. I don't want nothing to do with all this weird. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Y'all got too many demons in y'all body. Too many. Real talk. Yeah, and that's what is going to go down with Diddy. Ah, oh, Miss Ventura. Well, Miss Fine, because she's married now. Got her husband. Got two beautiful children. And got the bag. And guess what, y'all? She could get more money. How could she get more money? Simply because the hotel didn't protect her. That's what hotel's supposed to do. And it's obvious that somebody else at the hotel had the video. That other video had to come at the hotel. And it don't even matter uh, who video it is. The point of the matter is, is that they kept the video and they never released it. Infinite Love Life. And it vibration yeah for some reason i feel like i can give out make this video to about 30 minutes boo say they want to know yeah boo you around here talking about you was with diddy j-lo girl child talking about did i teach you that huh did i teach you that did i teach you that did you teach him this huh huh because word on the curve Everybody coming for Diddy, bro. When I tell y'all the way this is looking for Diddy right now, and they don't give a damn about TD Snakes, because guess what? They finna take his whole congregation down. Y'all think I'm bulljiving. This has all been planned out for years for Diddy. They've been watching Diddy for a very, very, very long time, must I say. A very long time. DJ Cali, hmm. we the best. They watching. Yeah, DJ Academics, you ain't got to worry about taking the whole rap game down. Diddy, Diddy, I think Puffy going to do that for us, you guys. Puffy is definitely going to do that for us. Where's Mika Mills? Huh? Where is Mika got dang on Mills? All that uh, dreams and nightmares. Where's Mika Mills? Like I thought. Nowhere to be found. Everybody running. Everybody. Hell, y'all saw Luke said, I lead the parties. You better make sure it ain't nothing with you on them tapes. Look there. Look there. Mary J said, I don't wear blonde no more. I don't love Diddy. I don't want nothing to do with Diddy. I'm going to skip his ass right up on out of my life. Scoop. A doop doo doop. Scoop. Boop boop. A scoop a doop doop. Doop. Scoop. A doop a doop doop. Yeah, let me skip this thing on the phone out of my life. Uh, skip, 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 skip,
<laughs> Pop Daddy, y'all. That's my, my big brother. Hey, that's why everybody want to know where Mary is. <laughs> Chad, bro, this is funny. They want their key back to the city. His girl, he didn't never get over her. I don't think he ever really got over Miss Ventura. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't think he did, bro. That's why they get no Mary. They said, "Nah, Mary." Mm -hmm. Would you say Mary? Check this out. I'm with my big brother Puff. Yeah, he's always inspiring me and showing me how to be the best me that I can be. I love you too, Mary. Yeah, yeah. Look, Joe, what you got on? Joe, what you got on? Hey yo, yo, check this out. We had at the one old the Riri's party, man. We wish y'all was with us, but y'all with us in spirit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we here, you know, we are the culture, we are the move, we are the Damn, I just know. Let's go to some fucking strength of the woman shit. Puff and Cassie. They look like they was on it in there. I ain't trying to be funny, bro. They look like they had them a good time. That's why they want to know what Mary know. I'm just telling y'all how this thing go. They want to know what the hell Mary know. Justin Bieber, um, you mind? We, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. He yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Mm, we going to go full, buck full crazy, huh? Come on, get loving off the roof of the night. And then again, then again, with the morning comes. You know what I'm gonna say when I get out that cabin? Come here, woman! Bip, 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 bip. Get dark on that water at night. Dip. That's all right. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you fix my hair? Let's start it off with that. Thank you, brother. He said it's still messed up. Come here. Come on and get it for me, Daddy. Can I sit right here? Don't stop that Nino Brown shit, that pretty motherfucker. I done said no Diddy, that punk ass nigga. They talk about that that I gave that punk ass nigga some heads. Jaguar Light is a crackhead, but I'm gonna pray for it anyway. I wish a nigga would. I'm from. <laughs> Can y'all imagine how this documentary gonna be, bro? <laughs> OMG, bro. Jack, Jacqueline, Suzette. Right. You know you wrong. Yeah, yo ass. Hey, Chad, why I said for the fat and up my pockets, but hey, I heard that you got to warn that for your race. You might want to be careful with going on all these different podcasts, little mama. Now, I'm happy to see you doing well. I ain't going to lie. I ain't lying. I'm happy to see her doing good. You know, I don't I don't see her down in nobody like how she was, you know, down in there, but I see her in a new light. See how I could I could judge people accordingly. I ain't still holding the Jaguar because Jaguar ain't, you know, she ain't, uh, I wouldn't say, you know, I think she's still with the bullshit. Excuse my French. I do think you still with it, but what I would say is that I think you, you know, you're getting a little money now. You're looking good. You, 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 you look nice. You, you, you keeping up with yourself. Because they couldn't wait on you to leave that lady. I was surprised you got with her. Yep. Oh, and before I leave, I need somebody to do me a favor. Somebody please warn Charleston White to just stay up out of this, bro. Stay up out of this. 
step out of it, Mr. White. Because I heard what you said and I ain't going to play it over here. You know what's going to happen? Anybody that defend Diddy. It's going to be considered like sexual harassment. Something like that. I'm going to tell you what they're going to do now. And they're going to start taking y'all thing on channels. I'm telling you, you can't do that. You cannot do that. His channel could get in. Oops, out. God dang, I already don't slip the city. Because it's true. Like if she wanted to report his channel, not his channel, but his Instagram page, she could do that. And it goes against what he what he said on no matter how he feel about that that situation with Miss Ventura and Diddy, uh the way he said it on his page. You, 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 that goes against uh, Instagram guidelines. I'm just being honest. You already lost one page. God damn. And that was your biggest page that you had. Facts. So somebody tell Charleston White this is not his fight. Ain't your fight, buddy. Rick Ross, we heard you was at them parties. Yeah, biggest boss. Mm-hmm. When one go down, all going down. I'm telling you. I ain't lying. I think I proved my point in this video. And I gave y'all 30 minutes of my time. Play with it. <laughs>